we're going to do a test fit now to see if that fits. So here's the screen. Hopefully it fits in. Yay. Perfect. Good morning and welcome to another episode of our van build. Um, today we've had a very special uh, delivery from Summarine. So it's going to be, uh, it's basically going to be our control system of our van. Um, it's going to monitor all the batteries, the tanks and everything that we have going on in the van. So we're going to show you how we um, I guess set that up and install it in this video. So this is how the, um, the package comes. So this is the display and it has all the units that you need to get set up in here. And so I've basically got everything out and I've been going through everything this morning. So here's the screen, here's the shunt, and here's all the accessories that we need to set up in our van. So it's taken um, about 10 minutes to, to sit down and figure everything out and get my head around all of the different components, but it's actually quite simple. It's just obviously um, sort of smart monitoring and stuff that just takes a few minutes to, to figure out. We're gonna take all these parts down to the van and we're gonna start to get it laid out and set up in the van. And then hopefully by the end of the day or in a, you know, however long it takes, we're gonna have the screen up and running we have it all fitted and we'll be able to monitor all of the stuff that's happening in the van. So, you know, we're going to have our inclemeter here that's going to show us if the van's level on ground and stuff. We're going to have our tank monitoring, we're going to have our battery monitoring, we're going to be able to see what the drain on the batteries is, we're going to see what the current coming from the solar panels is. So this is a really cool piece of kit that we're going to have in the van that's going to really make it, uh, you know, a, a pretty high-tech system. So this is actually the, um, the control panel. Let me just turn this camera light off so you can see it easier so it doesn't glare. So this is, um, yeah, so at the, back, the moment the batteries are 100%, they're being charged by the solar panels. I did actually have the solar panels um, off yesterday. Um, we have a switch, we can turn the kill switch off. So we woke up this morning and the batteries were down to 97%, but as soon as I plugged them back in, it charged up really quick, which is really good. So we're able to flick through these screens so it shows you exactly what is happening in the um, with the draw on the current. Um, we've got a, um, that's our thermometer there. So it tells us the temperature inside the van. We've got a, this is the, inclemeter here so we can tell if the van's level or not so that's a really cool piece of kit so when we turn up at like you know different parking places we can see how level of the van and stuff is we've we've stayed in motorhomes before we've used motorhomes before where we've had like leveling blocks and it's been a little bit complicated to know which side we need to go on so that's a really cool piece of kit and then we've also got the um barograph there so it's the um air pressure and that's pretty cool and then um, yeah, back to the main screen. So there's a few of the modules we need to hook up, but right now we're going to get this um, control panel installed so we can start to decide on the length of the cables and where to um, plug all the bits before we start to install more devices. So what we're going to do today is we're going to install our Simarine um, control panel into this wall here. Um, we've decided to put it here because out of the way, it's going to be easy to access when we want to check everything. And um, the other panel above the kitchen where we're going to put some plug sockets and stuff, it's just going to get a little bit crowded. And we thought like the height here would just be a little bit better. Um, we actually plugged in the screen yesterday and put the um, the shunt onto the battery. So the shunt is basically what shows what has all the currents going through and it can determine how much battery is being used and stuff. So it's a smart shunt. We put that on yesterday. That was actually really easy to install and um, really nice to set up. We've got the screen plugged in. Everything's working. We've got it all all the batteries set up on it and so we're able to see what the lights are drawing, we're able to see all of that sort of stuff. So we do have a few other components we're going to install properly later on so we'll be able to plug all the fridge and everything into that so we'll be able to see all the different devices. And then also we have another um, module that will monitor the water tanks. Um, the water tanks arrived the other day but we're still waiting for the um, level sensors to come. We haven't actually chosen the ones we're going to get yet but we've got to order those and when they come we can install those into the tanks and then we can also get that device fitted and then on the screen we'll be able to see the water tank level, battery usage, solar panel and solar power input, all of those different things. So it's going to make our life really easy on the road to be able to know exactly what's happening in the van and how much power we've got, how long we can self grid for. So it's a really cool piece of kit and we highly recommend it. Um, but right now we're going to go through the whole install process of getting it, um, the screen fitted to the um, wall here. So we're going to have that done now. So at the moment we're thinking of having the um, control panel somewhere like here and uh, we've obviously got a leave room for the wood but I think that's a, a really good spot because this is our like seating area down here so I mean we're gonna have all other um, sockets here but we just thought 
this is going to be a bit overcrowded there. We want it at a height that's going to be easy. We don't have to be scoop, scoop, uh, stooping down to get to it. So we thought having that here would be a nice height. It's going to be near the kitchen cabinet. We're going to be able to look at stuff on the go really quick and it's going to be out of the way of maybe if someone else is using the kitchen. So we think that's a pretty cool spot to put it. So the kit comes with this template, which makes it really easy because obviously the screen has like the little connector at the back, so it's really hard to get it flat and measure around. So this is really nice that we've got this um, template to measure onto the wall and then we can use the jigsaw to cut it out really nice and um, flush and that'll be uh, really nice to do. So that's the template all drawn out. So I'm going to get the jigsaw now, out now and um, cut this hole out. So this is basically going to be um, in the shower or covered with um, a waterproof panel. So that's going to happen in the next uh, next week, I guess. The panel should arrive this week, but I've got to basically ply the whole shower first, get all this junk out and hide all these cables and stuff. So we're going to cut out here now. That'll come through here and then we'll be able to put the screen in and then we'll run all the cables for the screen through this bit here and down behind this wall and back out through here. So that'll all be hidden. And um, yeah, we're gonna get that done before the shower's done, but it'll be really nice to have this this panel installed here. So I'm gonna cut that out now. Okay, so the hole's all cut out now. Um, gonna have to repaint around these edges where the um, jigsaw was running, but we have to repaint this wall anyway. So we're gonna do a test fit now to see if that fits. So here's the screen, hopefully fits in yay perfect so that's the first fit so on the other side we've got a few brackets that will basically hold that in place and then the cabling will um, come out the back bit there so yeah that's gonna be really good and then we'll be able to have that screen I mean look how flat that is that's such a nice piece of kit from Simmerine so yeah really happy to have that on there that's gonna take our van to the next level and really make it an off-grid beast alrighty then so the screen is now fully installed there We've installed the, um, the splitter up here. So we've put a few holes into this. This is gonna be our kitchen food cupboard. So this is gonna be nice and out of the way and all the, um, the Sycom cables can come into here. And we've also got our inclemeter here, which is gonna be screwed up on here and leveled out. So that's gonna be telling us a good reading. And um, what we've done here is we've got the cables coming behind the wall. So this is obviously gonna be behind all the shower paneling. So there's gonna be no access to this. Um, well, there could be, but it's going to be really difficult if anything goes wrong here. So we're making sure everything's absolutely perfect and running fantastic before we seal all this off. And then all these cables are coming down here and then through these holes in the wall here, which will also be covered by the shower and then back down towards the electrical bank. Um, part of the reason we put the splitter here and drilled holes here is because we want to make sure we've got access to this just in case anything goes wrong. If we put it behind the shower wall and anything does go wrong or cable breaks or whatever, we can't get access to that. By doing it this way, we do have some access to the system. And also the um, some of the cables here have inline fuses. And so by running them through this wall and back down towards where the battery bank is, we have access to those inline fuses as well. And then obviously they're fused on the fuse board as well. So um, we had to reset the screen when I just installed it then because it, um, it wasn't picking up the percent battery percentage, but it is now, it's all good. Um, currently on our current drawer we've got, I think I checked on the app and it's like saying 60 days using the solar panels at the moment and that's with all the lights on and everything so that's amazing, that's really good to show and good to see that we've got so much power coming in. Um, we want this to be a real off-grid um, camper so it's nice to know we've got all that. Obviously we're not running the um, fridge or anything yet and when we turn on the fan that brings power down but currently if we were just using the lights and everything that's on at the moment, so the USB sockets and all that sort of stuff, we've got loads of power coming in so that's really, really nice to see. Um, it wasn't too hard to install, cutting out the um, the uh, template was really nice and easy and it's just then it was just a case of figuring out where all the cables go and, and the best place to put them all and where they're out of the way but also accessible as well. So I think that's a really good spot. Let me just get it back here because it's a bit of a mess in here. But I think, as you can see, this is going to be our seating area here and um, yeah, the, the screen up out there, it's like nice head height so you can walk and you can see it, the date and time and everything's on there and it's just a nice spot to have it where it's not going to get in the way but it's also very accessible so yeah really pleased with that really happy with how that's been installed and what we'll do is we'll show you the next stage when we start to install the other devices thanks so much for watching this episode um really hope you've enjoyed us fitting the Simmerine system there's still a few more components that we've got to fit in the system which we haven't done yet so we'll be adding those into the next few videos when we get around to doing them but it's made such a difference in here we're able to see the battery uh, monitoring system we're able to see the temperatures the level of the van so it's a really cool piece of kit to have so um, don't forget to check them out because they're a really cool company to work with. They answer all your questions and help you with the whole process of getting everything that you need for your specific van. So yeah, don't forget to subscribe to our channel, um, give us a like and a comment, and we'll see you in the next one. That's what we do.